What should a CEO expect from the board of directors? That's an interesting question. And it's probably not what the CEO is worried about. In my experience, uh, particularly with young and, and less experienced CEOs, they are very concerned because they don't understand the process. They're very concerned that a board will terminate their employment. Let's call it get fired. That, in fact, is the last thing on a board's mind because if they're experienced board members, they know how utterly expensive, how destructive of corporate morale, how unbelievably distracting, painful, and expensive a change in leadership is. Their anxiety is that the CEO will quit. So here are two sides, one saying, oh my God, they're going to fire me, and the other side saying, oh my God, we might lose them. Well, how can you do great business when there's that wide a gap in perception? And I think that's a real problem. Again, spending more time developing more of a personal relationship so that each side understands the other will, will do wonders to, to make that happen. But let's focus in specifically on what a CEO should expect from a board. First of all, a CEO should expect support. The CEO and the board, each member of the board, if the board is put properly together, have an alignment of interests. They are both, at least as far as the corporation is concerned, focused on the same thing, which is increasing stockholder value. If stockholder value is going up, there are smiles all around, it's very easy to make it happen. But think about it this way. A corporation exists. The oversight is provided by a board of directors. The operations, the management, the the um, um, the day-to-day -day activities of a corporation are driven by the management that's hired by the board. So the board should be supporting its management team. And as a chair, I, and I've served as chair of a dozen corporations, I always tell the CEO, I will support you absolutely and 100% until I don't support you anymore. And those who have worked with me for years understand exactly what I mean by that, which is to say that we are both interested in, in making the company greatly successful. And I know how dreadfully disconcerting it is to have a change in leadership. So I want the CEO to, to succeed. I want the cor corporation to prosper. And, and there won't be a time when I quit supporting that CEO unless... Um, the CEO, the CEO goes totally off track, or there is some uh, misfeasance, malfeasance, or some other problem. This doesn't happen very often, and boards want desperately for it not to happen. What else can a um, management team expect a board to deliver? Well, they should, um, they should expect penetrating questions. They should expect um, occasionally relevant advice. Sometimes the board member's advice won't be exactly on track, but sometimes there's a kernel of truth in it that will help the uh, management team reorient themselves. I found that uh, enlightened entrepreneurs, enlightened company builders, come to value the board meetings. They start off with the notion, well, these board meetings are, take so much time. They're such a distraction. We spend so much time getting ready for the board meetings. That often develops and matures into the point of view that this is an opportunity for management, perhaps on a quarterly basis. When, when they're very young, companies may meet monthly. But as they develop and their systems develop and they can control and predict things more accurately, they probably start meeting on a quarterly basis. So this gives management a quarterly opportunity to say, are we hitting our plan? Are we going to hit the plan the rest of the year? What mid-course corrections do we need to make? These are, these are the things that, that a good board management relationship will give management the opportunity to do. And, and I've seen that happen time and again when, when um, managers say, hmm, I used to dread the board meetings, and now I recognize the value in them, and I'm delighted to have a chance to reflect, correct, 
and celebrate or commiserate as the case may be. Thank you.